Okay, in this video, we're going to show you how to filter your main ROM sets to end up with just the games that you want to play. Um, last week's video, which is what this follows on from really, is showing you how to get a ROM set that works well with the Raspberry Pi, um, which in this case is main 2003 plus. So that process would rebuild your ROM sets um, to be compatible with main 2003 plus. So you should be up and running on things like RetroPie quite easily with that. Um, but this video isn't going to show you how to get games working or not. It's purely about filtering. The working element should be done previously. You should have a working ROM set either by obtaining it or rebuilding it. So what I'm going to use um, in this video is a program called ROM Lister to do that. And just to recap on where we're at, we've got um, the main 2.241 uh, non-merge set and the rollback ROMs along with its DAT file here from last week that we used to rebuild the set. So obviously we don't need these anymore. The original there was 128 gig. Um, once you've got the DAT file for MAME 2003+, plus, it rebuilds it into this folder, which went through the steps with before, and we ended up with 17 gigs, so significantly reducing the size of the folder. Now, for me, 17.5 gig for a main ROM set is still way too big. I don't need anything like, I don't want to use that much space. Now, I know SD cards, you can get like half a terabyte easily these days so 17 gigs nothing on it so it doesn't really matter in terms of the actual space but it's still way more than i'm ever going to play and also because this includes all of the <coughs> sorry excuse me um all of the clones and variants of all the sort of games that you've got in there and every possible combination when you're scrolling through a list in emulation station or your other front end you have like 10 20 versions of a given game and I don't want that either. I want to, and I also know I'm never going to play things like Mahjong games and um, things like that. So I want to, I want to filter it out before it even gets to the pie. I want a much tidier collection, which is what um, ROM Lister can do. There are several programs like ROM Lister out there. Um, it's not the only one, but it's at the moment I think it's one of my favourite. But if you've got um, another program that does this, do let me know. Um, I'd love to check them out, see if you know I'm missing something on some other programs and how they can work. But anyway, what we'll be doing is using ROM Lister to go in our um, main 2003 plus ROM set folder and just select the games that we want. So we've got a nice set that's exactly the sort of um, games that we want to see when we're scrolling through those front ends instead of thousands of entries. So you can see that currently we're, I think there's, if I open this one up, over 5,000 items. So I don't want that. Much. So first thing, open ROM Lister. Now, it's going to moan about a merged input file because that's what it wants to work best. Um, so there's two windows, it's the settings and the sort of main area. So we go into the settings window. So this is the main area. I'm going to go back to settings. The first time you run it, it'll probably take you straight to settings, but you press settings and tools and then you get here. And this is the area that we're going to work with. So first thing it says, give me an input file. Now, you can give it an input file, of a, a DAT file, for let's look through browsing here i could say use the main 2003 plus that file but that's not really going to get the most out of the tool like it says here the best option is to use the merge tool below because it brings in various files to produce a new kind of that file that rom lister likes to work with it's got extra information in rather than just the pure dat so i'm going to ignore that bit for the minute and go down here so i'm going to say right merge utility first thing it wants is a main list xml so you can generate this by um, either pointing it at a MAME executable, like the latest Windows version, or you can just get, um, effectively, a DAT file work fine here. I don't think there's any disadvantage in using a DAT file. So if I browse um, in here, I'm going to change down here from executable to XML, and I'm going to choose the MAME 2003 plus DAT file, because that's the set I'm working with, so I think that should work fine. Um, next thing it wants is controlled XML. So it controls XML, I'll open it up here actually, I've got it in added files, controls XML here, if I open that up, you can see an example of the contents. So it basically says for any given game, um, where does it start here, players game. So for this game, Holiseum, um, you can see that the um, controls are eight-way joystick and it tells you that for every game, um, this is what should be available although i think controls xml is a little bit out of date the latest one was a few years old but it's still got the vast majority of games so i won't worry about it i'll put links to these files in the description 
Anyway, that's the one I want, controls.xml. So I go here, browse, added files, controls.xml. Next, it wants catbin. Now, this is probably the most important file. If you don't have um, controls or M players, I don't think it'll mind too much, but catbin is really important. So if we again, if we go in here and open catbin and see an example, you can see that for every ROM set, it tells you what category it is. So I don't know, let's um, scroll down here. This game, whatever that is, it's under electromechanical and specifically a subset of reels. Um, let's go for one I've heard of, so D Don Patchy. D Don Patch. Okay, D Don Patchy is a sheeter and it's a flying vertical sheeter, is the subcategory. So it tells you all of those categories. Uh, it's really helpful for that, and that's you know the main driver here of what we're doing. So I'll go here and I'll say browse catver. I'll have catver, please open and let's put that in. Last one, optional, M players. M players is number of players. So again, if we open that, you can see an example. Number of players for this particular wrong. Uh, hang on a minute. Yeah, so this particular wrong. Two players. Oh, I can't remember what alt stands for, but yeah, you can see two player, one player. And um, basically tells you um, the type of player set up for it. As it says here, it's optional. But anyway, let's browse end players. There we go. So we've got all the files that it wants to merge. So now I'm going to say merge and we'll call it. Um, it wants to save it as an XML, so that's fine. So we'll say um my test merged file because why not you can call it whatever save so it's doing its thing it's merging all these bits of data it shouldn't take very long um i should note you can see it says not responding though on this newer pc i've got it they do get that periodically but 90 percent of the time it doesn't crash it's fine it just carries on so i won't uh, worry about that this program is six years old which might be related to that um but it's still the one i use Anyway, we've done that merge. So because we've done that, we can go back up here now and say, right, I'll browse and use that merge file. Oh, actually, it's already done it for me. My test merge file. So now it's all happy. I can just press set. And now I'm in the main section. So now we're in here. Um, in this ROM list tool, you can see you've got the controls section here to say what controls of the games you're interested in. So I only want two-way and four-way in this example. Um, I don't want anything that supports a light gun, trackball. I haven't got a trackball or a light gun, so that's why. And maybe I'm picky about which monitor orientation games I want. Um, gameplay buttons, how many buttons should I have? This many or less. Uh, region, maybe I only want USA ones or only want Japanese ones. Um, up here is probably one of the most important sections, their categories. So I can say here, I don't want Mahjong. There's three settings here. You've got, I do want it. I don't want it and I don't care. So I don't care is if you've got some other settings to say, I don't know, two-way Japanese, if that happens to pull in a Mahjong, it will. Um, it won't sort of just say, no, I'm going to ignore it or yes, I will put it in. It's just, you're not bothered. So I am bothered. I don't want it there. So I've unticked it and you can see down here, this is a text section, a sort of text config of what you're clicking. So if I scroll to the right, you can see, um, I'm looking for, it should say somewhere that I don't want Mahjong. Let's see if I can see that. Boom, boom, boom. Analog, can see that. Uh, let's go this way a bit. Mm, I'm pretty sure it should be, it will be here somewhere. Uh, okay, I think Mahjong relates to tabletop. So this exclamation mark is not, so down here, exclamation not. I don't want any BIOS files and I don't want any tabletop files is what I'm saying there. If I tick it, it would probably see it disappear. Yeah, it's just, it's BIOS, I don't want that. But yeah, I don't want Mahjong, what else do I want? I don't want mature ones. Ball and paddle, yeah, okay. I don't want any casino ones. Climate, maybe, driving fighter, maze, minigame, I don't want any minigame, don't want miscellaneous, don't want any freak machine. Boop, 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 don't want the Mahjong. Uh, multiplay, I'm not even sure what that is. Uh, yeah, maybe pinball, no. Puzzle, don't want quiz, don't want rhythm, pin name, don't want that. So, you know, I've, I've gone through a filter there. Now you can see already compared to where that cat there was, where it said things like, um, uh, I don't know, where's fighter here? So it's like fight, where's fight there? Fighter 2D and 3D. I haven't got that option. I've only got that top level category choice. So, you know, ideally if this tool was updated, it'd be great if 
future you could choose those subcategories as well because this is just forcing you at the top level there um, which isn't too much of a problem it'd be nice to be a bit more granular about exactly what you want and what you don't want um, I don't really care about how many players I've got so I can keep it in the, the grade sort of not caring section um, two-way four-way joysticks fine with me I'll click eight-way I don't think it makes an awful lot of difference um, gameplay buttons how many or less um, uh, eight or less I'm fine with that um, and down here this is probably one of the most important buttons no clones for me I'm quite happy having no clones if there's this particular clone I want I'll go and manually grab it and put it back in but um, let's see if I can get an example of some clones Okay, you can see um, Defender here. We've got um, the main ROM set, which is called Defender. And you can see here are a list of its clones. I've, I've kept in Italian for some reason. I wonder if that flipped out. There we go, English, much better. Right, um, Defender.zip is the parent and all of its clones. Um, so if I click a clone, it would go into that and say the parent is Defender. Now, yeah, I want to pay Defender, but I don't really need the blue label, green label, white label, various bootleg versions of it. I'm happy with the parent version. I don't want 10 of these. And some games might just have one or two clones. Some might have 20 or more. Um, and often a clone is only going to differ by maybe, um, I don't know, maybe a localization. So it might be a Japanese version or here you can see a bootleg version, or maybe it's minor sound difference in one because... Or, or maybe there's like extra blood or no blood in some versions or ROM hacks or something. But broadly speaking, clones aren't going to be massively different to the parent. So I'm happy running with the parent. And then if I want a clone, I'll just manually sort of copy that across. So there's not that many that I can think of that I want to play. So getting rid of clones for me is, is an easy way to get rid of ROM sets. So going back to the view here. I don't want any clones, so I'm going to tick it. And I certainly want the playable one. So if MAME's marked it as non-working or not currently playable, um, you can say, you know, if you do want those to appear, untick it. But I don't, so we've got playable as well. So that's the kind of broad setup. You just pick what you want. Then for it to take the next step, you just hit make a list. So based on everything we've put there, I'll we'll hit go. It'll have a think. Um, and it's given me a list of 2,050 ROMs is actually more than I was expecting. Now this might be because the input files we put are from a newer version of MAME and it contains all of the, the ROMs, not just the ones in the 2003 um, plus ROM set that we're working with. Um, so it doesn't matter that it might not match all of the ones you've got because where it does match it will apply the rule, which we'll see in a minute, but this is probably the, the full list based on that criteria here that I've got um of all the games that it would include if i have them which is fine and down here you can see the different formats that it can export this in so csv i think if i preview the list to see if that works okay yeah so i can generate a csv file just showing these particular columns if i want um if we quit that list preview a second and go to batch file which is the one i'll be using in a minute and preview that list you can see here it generates um, the format of the batch file, so it'll copy the ROMs from where they are to a new folder. Um, so that's what we'll be doing in a second, but you can see that there's plenty of other examples of export formats that you want. Maybe you've got one of these front ends and you want to feed it the file. I've not really experimented with them, but if I pick a random one, Myla Game List, that's not letting me preview uh, this one. No, can't preview that. Hyperspin preview list. Okay, so that's the format that it would be exporting it. So what we're going to do is use a batch file to manage this. So I'm going to choose batch file. Okay, I forgot to set the folder and um, sort of just edited this. So what we're going to do before we save it to the bat batch file is choose where these files are going to go. So if we bring up the folder section we were in, which is in here, we're going to create a folder for these new ROMs. So if we go new folder and we will call it my new 2003 plus ROMs. And if we copy that path and we go back to ROM lister, we we'll say batch file and save list to file. And we're going to choose my new 2003 plus ROMs, save 
uh, no, sorry, this is where we're saving the batch file. So in here, we're called the batch file, my batch file, which is fine. Save, oh, my bath file, my batch file. Hit save there. And now it's saying, right, where do you want to save the ROMs in the batch file? So it says copy them from this location, which is the current location, to this location. I don't want to copy it to C main ROMs. I want to put it to D, my uh, 001 main, my new 2003 plus ROMs. OK. It generated that. It's finished. You can close that. You can close ROM lister. Then we can go back to the folder. And here, in my new 2003 plus ROMs, still empty, obviously, because we're not done anything with the batch file yet. You can see the batch file created here. And if we read the batch file, hit right mouse edit, you can see here it's saying copy the ROM that we've chosen based on your criteria to this folder that we just set a minute ago. And for this to run, because it's looking in the current folder, we just drop it in our main folder. So I'll copy the batch file and put it into the folder where all my ROMs are, which are main 2003 plus, and the batch file will copy it to my new 2003 plus one. So go in here, paste that. Now it's pasted to run it, you just double click or um, hit enter. So I'm going to hit enter and it'll run in this folder, which is where my ROMs are. It's not going to alter any of them, it's just copying. So there we go, it just flashes through them. Shouldn't take too long. There aren't that many entries. Uh, it looks all alphabetical, so on the G's. Okay, there we go. And it's finished. So it's run through all that. We can go back to this folder. Now, the folder we were in, this main 2003 plus, was 17 gig with 5,000 files in. The new one here is now 7 gig and it's got 2,000 files in, which are the ones we created. So a big reduction. I think we could probably even go further. I'm just going to open ROM list again quickly here. And then here, I think uh, if I didn't have any the mature ones, no casino, no maze, minigame, miscellaneous, fruit machine, name, boop, 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 don't want rhythm, don't want quiz, don't want pinball, don't want multiplayer, don't want mahjong, just want, and I definitely don't want claims. Just wondering what, how many that is. 157. Wow, maybe I've gone too far there. Uh, but you can see the point, you can play about with the config here. Oh, and I said two buttons only there um, to get the sort of range you want. Um, I ended up on the example I just did with like 2000, but you can certainly bring that back um, by tweaking that. Anyway, so we've got um, our new ROM set and with 7.32 gig, we've got 2000 ROMs and you can just copy that across to the Pi in the normal location and you've got a much smaller data set. So, it's really just a way to quickly and easily tweak the particular games that you want available, filtering them. And I've used Romlister for that. But like I say, if you've got any other suggestions, please let me know and I'll check them out. Uh, as always, thanks very much for watching.